Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, also known as Chip, and welcome to H1Z1. This game is the bane of my life. I love this game so much. Holy cow, this game is... Oh, 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 oh. It's it's awesome, okay? Anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a thing called a dam run. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Like, I will explain everything as I'm doing it. It might, it might be a long video, it might be a really short video, I do not know. Um... All I know is that this video is going to be pretty useful. Okay, if you're if you're new to H1Z1 and you're struggling to like you know, set up base and get things going, this is a perfect strategy to use. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is as soon as you spawn in, check your spawn location. Okay, it will be displayed in the bottom right corner, just above your health, your stamina, and your energy. So I'm in D9 right now. So, it's not a very good spawn, so I'm going to press enter and then type in slash respawn, okay? The spawn point that you're looking for is G5, okay? The reason we do G5 is because we're going to do a thing called a dam run. And the reason we do dam runs is because that's a good way to get a bunch of equipment straight away. Um, and it's, it's very easy to do, however, a lot of people do this strategy. Hang on a minute. I accidentally paused my recording. Okay, hello! Alright, I'm back. We're in G5, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, in fact, I'm going to crouch and get in cover behind this tree. Okay? In fact, before I do that, I'm going to grab a bunch of sticks. And the way you can do that is just run through these. If it's actually going to give me them, that would be freaking awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm going to crouch down here, just at this tree, and I'm going to shred my pants okay um the reason i'm shredding my pants is we want to make a bow okay we want to make just something to defend ourselves with so we're going to go into here uh, oh we have to discover it first so we go in here discover we will get a makeshift bow do this and we'll get some arrows yeah so now we can go into crafting make our makeshift bow craft it i hear a zombie go the arrows craft them arrows i'm about to get attacked and now we're ready to go and do this dam run. Where is he? Oh, okay, bye! Okay, so what you're going to do is when you spawn in a G5, just run downhill until you get to a bridge. When you get to said bridge, which is this, you should see a road. Uh, you're going to follow the road either to the left or to the right. I'm going to go to the right because uh, it's less likely I'm going to die that way. Bear in mind, I do recommend uh, making some form of weapon. Is this, that's an actual guy. Crouch in this bush for a sec, real quick, and use the gauze. Right, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, back to the dam run, huh? Oh god, I'm still bleeding. Use. I'm gonna get like sniped. Still bleeding? Really? Oh no, I'm not. Damn, I just wasted this gauze. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, so you're gonna run up here until you see these houses. All these log cabins, which is a oh, cool place to be. Cool, 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 cool. I think I chose a real bad server to do this on because this is just like really crowded. But anyway, you're gonna. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up getting sniped, I promise you. I swear to god, someone's gonna end up just sniping me real quick. So once you get down here, you can either go to this area over here, where that, where the light is, or you can run round and down. I'm going to run over to this area first, because this area is the least popular, and it might prepare me to go to the next area. The reason being is because a lot of people do this, so there may be people in here. I doubt it though. So I'm going to run down here. I don't even, I'm not even going to be stealthy because, you know, if there's people in here, then I'm dead already. Okay, so come over to this locker, check it. If there's anything good in there, take it, you know? You, you know how the deal works with looting, I'm assuming anyway, because... 
the game without surviving and looting. There's a locker up here that you can search. There we go, military backpack, awesome. Come over here and there's weapon locker. Frag grenades. And nothing. Okay. I get an awful lot of lag next to the dam and it's really super loud. Like, ridiculously loud. Holy cow. I'm actually going to pull my, uh, pull my grenade out. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is for this area. Like I said, it kind of semi prepares you for the, the water treatment place, I guess. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to run down here. And now we have a military backpack, which is awesome, because that means that we can carry some stuff. Um, in the water treatment plant, which is down here, um, there will probably be people. Uh, I'm very nervous because there is a huge ass space just to my left. Like, see this? Huge base. And if I'm lucky, they're not online. I don't see anyone in the uh, lookout towers, which is a good sign. However, my guy is panting like a fat person in Greg's, so... Uh, Alright, is the door shut? Nope, it's wide open, which is a good sign. The reason it's a good sign is a lot of people shut the doors behind them, like I just did. So you can hear someone enters the uh, building. And when they leave, they usually make a quick escape by just, you know, running out. They don't bother shutting the door behind them. Well, that's a bad sign. But that I hear, guys. Compass. Alright, I'm probably gonna get sniped. Because there's people. Unless there's a gun in any of these, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably best off going over to the other side. Yeah, there's people. Crap. But th yeah, this is basically what you do. I'm just like kind of... Like, they were laughing. They were laughing, yo. I'm gonna die. They're gonna snipe me so hard. Dude. See, there is usually some weapon on these, on the uh, shelves, but that doesn't look like there is today. I'm gonna get killed. That's where all it takes is just like one douchebag to be like, Oh hey, there's a guy! And that's it, you're basically dead. So this is why it's a damn run, not a damn, you know, set up a base, drink some tea, you just do, you run into the dam, do what you can, grab some stuff, and leave. Tan weapons. Is that an airdrop? That's an airdrop. Pretty sure that's an airdrop anyway. Nothing. Oh my god, these these lockers, they have they have some decent stuff in, there's nothing that I would really use right now. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. However, that is a dumbass thing to do when I heard people on the mic. Because they probably know I'm here. Did I already check this one? Oh no, I guess not. Um it's a really dumb thing to do right now because I heard people on their microphone. I'm going to put these pants on. And I'm going to go ahead and real quickly uh, make myself look slightly badass, I guess. I heard a guy. I heard a guy, man. What's he... Oh man, I'm like really super freaking out right now. Okay, I see him, I see him. Oh god. Well, that frag grenade didn't work, did it? Oh, 
Leave it to that. Why? Yeah! I got him! Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, that's all I really want. Oh my god. Right, I need to... I need to heal and get out of here. That was like a real good shot, holy cow. Jeez. But yeah, anyway. I'm gonna end this video now, before I look like a noob and die. Um, so that's how to do a down run. My advice from this point on would be to just get out of here as quick as you can without dying, hopefully. Because, you know, dying is bad. 100% uh, of deaths are caused by dying. I don't know if you knew that one already. You might have, did. You might have done. Okay, this door is wide open. I'm gonna shut it. Oh yeah, there's an upstairs as well with a bunch of weapon lockers. Probably already been looted. Um, I'm guessing there'll be people up here. There usually is. Oh, huh, I guess not. There's a guy. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Okay, hop down here. And just run. Okay? And that's how they do a down run, everyone. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please give that like button some love, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!